I'm here with Angela, who is a little bit voice impaired today. I'm very squeaky today, so Kelly's going to do most of the talking. <laughs> so I'm going to do most of the talking, which isn't really that much different than normal, so, you know, because I just talk on. But today is Thursday, May 18th. It's my brother-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday, Seth. <laughs> Not that he watches. <laughs> um, and we are recording from our normal time and place, which is... Um, place is our store Must Love Yarn in Shelburne, Vermont, which you can find on all kinds of social media as Must Love Yarn and our website mustloveyarn.com and you can find me on Instagram as Kelly O Spins and on Ravelry as Kelly Spins and feel free to come on and join me because I love following you guys too and seeing what you're doing and it gives me inspiration so. That's right and you can find me. <laughs> I'll put it in the tab bars on Instagram and Ravelry at Junior Bird Kid. <laughs> um, we just want to welcome back all returning viewers and all new viewers, too. If you're a new viewer, thanks for checking us out, and we hope you like. Uh, this is going to be not a traditional episode just because Ange is, um, is, having, is sick, and she's, her voice is not holding up great. And uh, so we're just going to do a quick little episode. <laughs> We're going to do a quick episode today. Um, we're going to just talk about the events we've got coming up. And then we've had a lot of people asking about um, if we could do a tour of the store. So we're going to walk around the store, and I'm going to talk about some of the different yarns and things. And <laughs> Edge can record. And I'm going to talk about some of the different products that we have in the store and give you guys a tour. And so we thought that would be kind of fun, especially since it, we can't really do a regular episode and you don't want to listen to me talk for an hour. You definitely don't want to listen to me. Squawk at you. <laughs> um, so for upcoming events, we have um, this weekend, I can't believe it's here already, we have the Legacy Fiber Arts Trunk Show. So that is May 20th, which is Saturday, and it is starts at 1 o'clock, and it goes, we've got it until about 4, but if we sell out before then, it's until it sells out. So I know they're bringing, Sue and Chelsea are bringing in a ton of yarn, so I think there's going to be a lot of yarn for everybody who wants them uh, so yeah so come on out if you're anywhere in the area um, Shelburne Burlington yeah <laughs> Shelburne Burlington area is a great area so many great restaurants so many great breweries and vineyards and all kinds of fun stuff to do here and of course the lake and the weather's supposed to be gorgeous um, and like Anne said we're gonna have some finger food here some tasty stuff from a caterer a great caterer that we love, that we use for all of our events. So, um, so yeah. And that's this Saturday. Next Saturday, yes? No, no, we have a whole weekend off. So Memorial Day, we have off. Oh, and just for anybody, um, Memorial Day Monday, we are closed, just to throw that in there. Um, we were closed last year, and so we're gonna close again this year, just Monday. Everything else, you can come on normal, regular hours. Um, but I will put that, make sure I put that in all of our social media stuff so if anybody <coughs> won't be confused. Um, but Monday we are closed. And then the following weekend after Memorial Day right, weekend, June 3rd. which is June 3rd, <laughs> I, I'm getting ahead of myself here, um, we are having an event here at the store. It's called Meet the Farmers, and it is going to happen from 3 to 5 in the afternoon. And <laughs> there's going to be more food from our favorite caterer. And um, we are having some farmers come and talk about all kinds of different things. That We've got um, some spinning demonstrations happening. We've got a presentation from one farm, and it's about their, um, their store moving from Chicago, kind of city life, um, moving to Vermont and having a sheep farm. So I, that's going to be a really, really interesting presentation. Um, and so, yeah, we've got all, all kinds of fun things. We're going to have tons of their local yarns for sale here. And just come in with questions and come touch the great fiber and 
All of the, there, we had one that was, that was like, oh, I wish I could bring a lamb, but they're still with their mom. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't. We may get surprised and may end up with a sheep or two here too. So that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. So anyway, come on out and join us. It's going to be a fun event, very informal, but um, but we've got some really great local producers, and their yarns are just amazing. So just come on out and say hi to them and and thank them by buying their beautiful yarn because it's it's not easy what they do but they do it because they love it and we love supporting them um so that is june 3rd saturday and it is from three to five the following saturday is june 10th and that is worldwide knit and public day <laughs> You can see our events all revolve around having food at them. Yes, there will be food. So what we are doing is we have actually rented out one of the pavilions at Oak Ledge Park, which is in Burlington. And the reason we did that is because it is halfway between here and Nito, which is the other wonderful yarn store on College Street in Burlington, downtown Burlington. And we are working with them um, to put on a really fun worldwide and public event for you guys. Um, we're going to be there. We're going to be arriving about 10 uh, and setting up, just kind of settling in. The grills, there's grills, are going to start up <laughs> about 11. Um, between the two stores, we're covering all the grillables. Um, so like the hot dogs, hamburgers, veggie dogs, veggie burgers, that kind of thing. We're going we're gonna to provide all of that stuff, the buns, the condiments, that kind of thing. So if you guys want to come and hang out with us, all we're asking is that you bring a dish to share. So if you go onto our Facebook page, there's an um, if you click on the tickets link, there's actually an evite thing. Um, it's set up, and um, Fiona from Nito set it up. And there's a list on there um, asking people what they want to bring, and you can just click. And there's like chips, there's um, salads, there's other sides, things like that, just to just for something to share, um, which I think will be a lot of fun. So we're there from 10 to about 2:30 is when the uh, our time runs out there, which I think is a good time frame. Most people have other things they want to do in the afternoon anyway. Um, so come on out and meet the people of Muscle of Yarn and Nido if you haven't met us yet. And uh, it's just going to be a great day sitting, relaxing. Um, like I said, we do have the pavilion, so if we get some sprinkles, it's a big pavilion, so we can fit a lot of people in there. So bring picnic stuff bring chairs bring whatever you want outdoor for that games, yeah game stuff, frisbees. outdoor stuff yeah there's there's a volleyball there's volleyball pits there there's a place you can go swimming i don't know if it's if cold. It, it would be cold because it's still early june 10th even if it's hot it would, <laughs> it would be kind of cold dogs are welcome they have to be leashed and no glass those are the the big requirements um there's no admission it's free to get in but um you do have to pay for parking uh, I think two dollars an it's hour. It's two dollars an hour, I think. But they did just change that, so I think it's now per carload. I don't know. They they, they keep changing the They have kiosks yeah. there, so you pay at the kiosk. That's true. So I think now with the kiosk, it's actually a per hour thing. It used to be per carload. So anyway, it's it's not terribly expensive um, to do it. So for the few hours that you're there, you know, you're looking at six to ten dollars I'd say for parking so just plan on that and um, with the kiosk you can pay with a credit card I believe uh, so just so you guys know and are aware of that um, yeah so I think that's gonna be a really fun day yeah. and we love the ladies at Nito they're great fantastic um, so and we're looking forward to doing other events with them in yeah. the future so yeah. and I yeah and then July 8th at the ballpark July 8th, yep, we've got the uh, Stitch and Pitch at the ballpark. Um, that's an evening game. I think game is 5 o'clock? Either 5 or 6. I think so, yeah. Um, so that's it's going to be a really fun event, and we're uh, uh, going to be hosting the 50-50 raffle table, uh, which is going to be all the proceeds for that are going to be going to Cast Off Chemo, which is a charity we've been working with um, almost since we've opened for quite some time. Um, so that's going to be a really fun event. We don't have tickets yet for that. We should have those soon. I know, I know we keep saying, saying that. that, but we will have tickets. Um, and then the other event that we're kind of sponsoring, co-sponsoring, whatever you want to call it, is Rhinebeck. We're doing another bus to Rhinebeck this year, and Rhinebeck is October 21st. Great Northern Yarn Hall. Oh, right. 
hold that thought. Um, we do have, that's right, we do have the northern, um, the Great Northern Yarn Hall, which is a big yarn crawl that goes from the basically Lake Champlain to the Atlantic Ocean. And there are even more stores participating this year. Um, this year you get two weeks to complete it rather than the one week. Um, people actually did complete it. There were yeah. quite a few people who did, who hit every store. So yeah. it can be done. Um, but it, it, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, great for people who might have the summers off or, or want to really do big road trips on the weekends. Or they use that all their vacation time. Yeah, that too. Um, so, yeah, we're doing that, and that is mid-July. I think it's mid, it's like early to mid-July. I think it's like the 9th through the 23rd, something like that. But we'll get all those details up in show notes and on our calendar and things like that. And so that's you can Ryan Beck. So you can find it. And we are, yeah, like I said, we're <coughs> participating in that. And we'll get more details out as it gets a bit closer. But we're still a couple months away from that. Um, but then <laughs> we do have Ryan Beck. And we are getting a nice luxury um, coach from Premier Coaches, which is a nice Vermont company um, that... It's a big, large 54, I think, passenger bus um, with Wi-Fi and all the creature comforts, DVD players. It has a restroom on it, and um, so it's, it's, it'll be nice. And it's, <laughs> yeah, but there'll be food. We're going we're gonna to get, do just a small breakfast for everybody um, because we're going to leave early in the morning last year. We left at 7. That's, we're on the same schedule to do that this year. We'll leave at 7 in the morning from the park and ride in Ferrisburg, and um, it's a long day. It's about four hours down and four hours back, and then the whole day you're at the fairgrounds. So it, it is a long day, but it's a lot of fun. It's definitely worth it if you haven't been before um, and you don't want to spend a whole weekend down there. It's, it's kind of a nice way to do it because you don't have to worry about driving. You can sit on the bus and knit. You can sleep if you want, you know, whatever, whatever you're happy doing on the bus. Um, and we've already got some people who are signed up for it, so... We're hoping yeah. we get definitely get enough people because it, it, it's so fun to do. Um, so if you want to do it, sign up because we'd love to make it make sure it happens. Yeah. We, we do have kind of a minimum number that we've got to reach before um, we can make it feasible to do it. Um, so it's seventy five dollars. Um, tickets are available on our website. If you go to mustloveyarn.com and search Rhinebeck, you'll find it right away. Um, but I will also put a link in show notes about that. And um, yeah, and then we've got some knit alongs that we're going to yes. be doing. So uh, starting Sunday after the the trunk show with Legacy Fiber Arts, we've got the Legacy Fiber Arts knit along. Yes. Um, we already have a prize that Sue donated from Legacy Fiber Arts. Fiber arts, sorry. Um, <laughs> been talking a little too much, you think? Um, <laughs> this is the Kelly show. Um, <laughs> and uh, so that starts the 21st. I've already got a chatter thread up in our Ravelry group. It's going to be mostly Ravelry. Um, it's, it's easier, I think, because a lot of people like participating and putting pictures up, and pretty yeah. much everybody's on Ravelry. Not everybody's on Instagram, but I did make a hashtag um, that I put in the chatter group. Um, I, of course, don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's MLY Legacy MAL for make along because you can crochet, you can knit as long as you're using Legacy Fiber Arts yarn. Okay. Um, so I think that's what the hashtag is, but I'll put that in show notes too. So if you are on Instagram and you want to um, tag your stuff so that we can see it that way too. Um, and then the spring into summer. Spring into summer, the knit along, which we were going to start, we were going to start thought in April, but it took a while for our yarn to come in. So we're going to actually run those concurrently. So if you want to use some legacy double fiber, dip. fiber arts in the spring and summer shawl, you could totally double dip and get, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Yep. And get that done and yeah. enter into and both. If you come to the trunk show Saturday, you could match your gradient kit to yeah. whatever legacy on your body. That's right. Yeah, we've got some great, really nice um, gradient kits from uh, Wonderland Yarns. They're really, really nice. We also have, actually, we do have some from Katya, too, and those are really lovely as well. So, yep. so we have those, too. I've got to start a thread for um, spring and summer shawl, uh, just a chatter thread. The FO thread's 
we'll get those up at some point, but I at least want to get the chatter threads going. So let us know if you if you know what you're going to use your legacy fiber bars. If you already have some here, you know what you're going to use it for. Go ahead and start chattering. We've got somebody already in there who tells us what they're going to be using theirs for, which is awesome. We love seeing that and getting inspiration. So um, keep those in mind, and uh, we hope you'll you'll knit and crochet and make with us. Yeah. Um, the other thing, the final thing, the very final thing before we start our tour of the store, which look at all this loveliness behind us, is the thousand subscriber giveaway. We are nine people <laughs> from a thousand subscribers. Just nine people. So by next week, we uh, may be able to give a prize away. Although maybe well, next, next, next week, week we, we would tease announce, them. Next week we would announce what the what the prize is. What the prompt is and what the and prize is. That's right. So next week, we're hoping if we get those nine people, we can show, we can, we'll put together the prize this week and then we'll get that ready so we can show you all the goodies that you're going to get. And then we'll come up with the prompt too in between now and next week and um, put that, we'll announce that here for you guys. And then you can go on Ravelry and tell us whatever it is that we come up with. That's right. And then the following week, we'll draw. Yep. And it's going to be good prizes. Awesome. Awesome prizes. So, if you haven't signed up yet and you're watching and you want a chance to win, then um, subscribe if you want and you'll get automatically notified uh, when our podcast goes live. Yep. Well, not live, but up it goes up on YouTube. And if, um, if you're already subscribed, but you know some friends who might enjoy watching us and sitting down with us every week, then um, ask them to, to sub subscribe and get us that much closer to our thousand subscribers. And then we'll be able to do that fun, awesome giveaway. Yep. So I think that's it. Okay. I think we will now take you on a tour. Take you on a tour of the store so you can. <laughs> 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 so you can. See the fun stuff that we get to see every day. Well, what I get to see every day and Ange gets to see a couple times a week. So um, with that, we will say goodbye for now. And <laughs> she just likes doing that. And we will probably see you. I think we'll um, Next probably week. be able to. Play my voice with that. Yeah, if Ange is, is not croaking. I might be croaking next week, but, you know. <laughs> So um, with that, enjoy the tour, and um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> as the traffic goes by. I know. So here we are at the lovely Muslim Yarn front door. Hi. Um, let's go in and take a tour. <laughs> So when we first walk in, we've got a few little odds and ends. We've got some fun needle felting, your Euclid wool wash, of course, buttons, some little different kits. And then let's look at this. So we've got a lot of um, locally made buttons here. Katrinkle, she's Rhode Island, moving mud, the glass buttons and um, shawl pins, and she's in Vermont. And then we've got pewter buttons here and shawl pins, and they're all made in New Hampshire. Um, the sisters are, they're from New Hampshire as well. Um, we've got lots of fun project bags here. These are all local, um, made in Vermont, these grouping here. Um, and then we've got the cute, pretty cheap project bags, which are the birds, and they're really fun. Um, all kinds of great stuff on this wall. Our needle wall, which is enormous. We primarily have the Knitter's Pride needles as well as Haya Haya. Those are the two that we do the most with. Um, we do have a little bit of Chagu, but um, primarily Knitter's Pride and Haya Haya. They're the most popular we've found. Where do we want to go next? Oh, we've got some of our gradient kits here. And we've got our little display for knitted knockers. Taproot Magazine, we talked about that, just brought that in. We want to go around the corner? Okay. All right, let's go around the corner. Ooh, we just got sock rulers in, you guys. 
Those are fun. So they're up on the website and they're really super handy for measuring socks. You can measure the foot, the cuff, toe up, cuff down, doesn't matter. So they're really fun for that. Got lots of beads for anyone who wants to do beaded shawls. We've got this great wall of round mountain fibers. <coughs> She's a local dyer from Southern Vermont. If Anne, want, Anne wants to turn around behind her, we've got, it's kind of hard to see because of the mirror, but we've got a lot of um, yarn bowls here. <laughs> All from local, um, local designers. We've got wood and ceramic. And then we can move into our favorite room. Well, that's not to make people yeah. see like I, around. <laughs> I know. Um, this pretty much most of this section is all local yarns. This is um, our indie dyed yarn wall. Um, so whether local or not, it's oh, it's all pretty much all indie dyed yarns, and it's so happy. And if it's gray a day, it's so fun to come in here and just look at this wall because it's so sunny. <laughs> So this, everything in this room is pri primarily sock yarn um, or fingering weight yarn and lace weight yarn. Um, we've got an entire wall of it. Want to move out into bulky room? We'll do bulky and then keep on going on the grand tour. So this room is all bulky and super bulky weight room, um, yarn. It's kind of fun having the different rooms. We've got it all divided out like this. So you'll see lots of familiar brands, Madeline Tosh, Malabrigo, Noro. There's Plymouth, there's Barocco, there's Spud and Chloe, Juniper Moon Farm, Mirasol. We've got a little bit of everything in here. We try to take all different price ranges and blends of yarn. After you. <laughs> yes, and just getting a good shot of Lurking Lucy over in the corner. <laughs> we mentioned Lurking Lucy. Um, Probably is probably one of our early episodes because we had her up by the front door and she was always scaring us when we walked through the door so we had to move her to the corner. So this is our DK weight room. So pretty much everything in here is DK weight with the exception of our cast off chemo yarn, which um, all the proceeds of that yarn goes directly to cancer research, which is really nice. Um, so we've been selling a lot of that yarn. It's, uh, it's, it's great and we love that it's helping a good cause. So we've got lots of books in here too. We've got um, a lot of the everyday kind of yarns. We've got a lot of Green Mountain Spinnery. A lot of their yarns are DK weight. So we've got a lot of Green Mountain Spinnery in here, which is great. Their yarns are really lovely. Um, and then we've got the Barocos and Plymouths and Juniper Moon Farm and Taki and Malabrigo and Madeline Tosh and a little bit of everything in here. We've got an awesome wall of local wools. So if you are coming to our Meet the Farmer event, you're gonna meet some of these farmers that, um, that we've got the yarn from. 
So we've got um, Wing and a Prayer Farm. We've got some of her beautiful, beautiful yarn here. Um, we've sold a lot of it. It's very popular. Um, Savage Heart Farm. Peggy's actually going to be coming and joining us. They've got uh, Cormo Crosses. This yarn is just so, so soft. It's super squishy and just a really lovely yarn. Um, Dillner Hillside Farm. She raises uh, goats and uh, sheep and she dies and hand spins all of her skeins that we've got and they're really lovely there's so many awesome colors of her yarn here and she started doing these really fun great uh gradients um that we showed we showed a couple it was a couple episodes ago we showed the, her gradients that she's doing um so these are really nice uh sunny hill farm they've got some really lovely romney and romney cross yarns and we've got some of their fiber too um, Yellow Dog Farm, uh, some of their roving, we've got some of their yarn over um, there, which we'll show you too. <laughs> Shaky Ground Farm, they're actually just one town south of us in Charlotte, and they have Icelandic sheep, and they're getting it spun in a traditional lopy style yarn, um, so it's really nice, and you can feel theirs has quite a bit of lanolin in it still, and you can feel it, and it smells so nice and sheepy. Um, We've got Peter's Own Farm. They have uh, mostly Shetland, but they do have some mohair too. And uh, these are little kits. They do a thrum mitten kit, and they also have mohair, uh, just bags of mohair for people that want to do use their own yarn, but have the mohair for doing thrums. Um, this whole front section is all local yarns as well. Um, we've got the Vivian Acres, and they do primarily mohair yarn and we've, we've highlighted their yarn in past episodes as well. Um, there, it's a mohair Colombian wool blend. It's a 70% mohair, so it's really high in mohair. It's really soft and it has amazing sheen. Um, we've got the Sweet Pea and Friends yarns, um, and we've got their books too, The Sheep Over and Brave Little Finn. They've got a new book coming out this fall, and these are their yarns actually, um, and they go with kits that match different articles of clothing that are in the books, which is kind of fun. Um, so we've got just just tons and tons of, of local yarns. We've got two Grandma's Farms. They're going to be coming to our event. Um, let's see, who else do we have? <laughs> Yellow Dog Farm. There's are the ones on the end, and they also have some really nice um, brushed mohair, and they've got a, some boucles that they do, which are really kind of interesting. Um, and then the whole backside is filled with all natural uh, colored yarn, mostly Shetland. Um, there's a lot of Shetland sheep in Vermont. Just some really lovely natural colored yarn. So we've got um, Peter, some of the Peter's own farm yarn there and we also have some blue heron farm yarn back here and the two grandmas farm yarn so a little bit of everything got some sport weight yarn over here to the other side kind of close to the the DK, a lot of these will knit to the same gauge, the sports and the DK, so we've gone close together. Um, but we do we do pull them out and separate them that way. And then we move into our worsted weight rooms. <laughs> rooms. Since our worsted weight's so popular, we've got um we've got Anstra and the Ella Ray, we've got um, Mushishi, which is a Plymouth yarn. We've got the Plymouth Select Merino, which has wonderful stitch definition. Barocco Vintage. Um, we've got Encore, which is great for kids things and Afghans. We've got some Noro. And that's all in this first room. And then we head through another doorway and we're in our classroom, which is where we have our knitting group meet regularly. So we've got two knitting groups that meet. They're actually mostly made up of the same people, but um, Wednesdays from five to seven and Sundays one to three. And this is where they meet and, um, and just have a great time. And this is more worsted weight yarn. We've got the wonderful wool stock yarn from Blue Sky Fibers. 
We've got um, more Juniper Moon Farm than Moonshine. If you guys haven't worked with that yarn before, it's one of my favorite worsted weight yarns. We also have the Chunky too, but um, it's a great yarn to work with. We've got some Lamb's Pride, um, which is from Brown Sheep, and we've got the Brown Sheep Lanoloft. Great yarns for felting if you are into knitting and felting pieces. Um, we've got some cotton and cotton blend yarns over here. Uh, great for kids things, baby things, um, summer weight things. <laughs> so those are all worsted weights. Um, we've got a small little section of books out here. And then we've got a whole bunch of Aran weight yarns. Uh, really, really lovely yarns. We've got the Debbie Bliss Falkland Aran. It's a lovely yarn. Super, super soft. It's an organic, um, organic yarn. Uh, we also have the the Stratus, which is a really interesting chainette ply or chainette yarn. Uh, we've got the Blue Sky uh, Fibers Extra. If you've not worked with that yarn, it's amazing. It's an alpaca and baby merino blend yarn, and it's so squishy, so soft. It's really kind of decadent. It's lovely. Um, and then we've got the Plymouth Homestead, which is a great workhorse yarn, wonderful for sweaters and um, all kinds of different pieces. Great price, and it's a really, really nice 100% non-super wash wool. So, and that's pretty much a tour of the store. I don't think we've missed anything, have we? I think we've got all of our rooms and... Nice. So that's the tour of Muscle of Yarn, and if we think of anything else, we'll try to pop it in and put some more pictures and photos up, but hopefully you guys have a kind of an interesting idea of, of where we are and what we do, and I'm sure we're going to take some more video during the Legacy Fiber Arts Chunks show, because so, that's going to be a super fun event, so keep an eye out for that.